Water to the rim. Hailing from Weeds, New Mexico, the WAW champion, F.O. Welcome back to Aftermath. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the biggest, I repeat, biggest WAW Aftermath main event in history. Epo continuing his run as a defending WAW champion. He has not turned back any challenges thus far. Three weeks as champion, three weeks of defending the title here on Aftermath. First it was the Derby Dealer, last week it was the Jersey Devil. Tonight it will be the entire Hall of Fame. 2003 inductee, Sith and Gino Diomedes. 2004 inductee, the Dirty Dealer. 2005 inductee, the War Machine Sin. And 2006 inductee, the Wicked One, the Jersey Devil. Here tonight, six man tag in elimination rules. Winner walks out with the WAW Championship. What a night it is going to be. What a match it is going to be. But let's take it down to the champ. Productions are underway. Our first Hall of Famer about to make his way to the ring is the outlaw, the dirty dealer, the 2004 inductee into the WAW Hall of Fame, a three-time WAW champion. In fact, he was the first ever WAW champion, a one-time WAW team champion with Iceman, a former WAW president. He ran this company, and he is the manager of champions. He has managed EFA, the Jersey Devil, and Q Chaos in individual WAW championship reigns. He has managed the big top players to the WAW team championship, and he manages Joey Staples, the current Hellbound champion. Here comes our next Hall of Famer, the Dark Messiah, Gino Diomedes, looking to set a record here tonight by winning his fifth WAW Championship. He was the 2003 inductee into the Hall of Fame. He is a four-time WAW Champion, a two-time United States Champion. He is even the creator of the WAW Championship, merging the WAW World and US titles back in September of 2003. He is the creator of such matches, such as Cemetery Gates, the Body Bag Match, the Coffin Match, the Brutality Match, and many other matches that we don't have enough time to name. This is Gino Diomedes. Here comes our next Hall of Famer, 
the War Machine Sin. He was the 2005 inductee into the WIW Hall of Fame. He too is also looking to set a record by becoming the first five-time WIW champion in history. He is a four-time WIW champion. He was a 2003 Lord of the Ring champion. He is a two-time Annihilation champion, leading teams to victory in 2002 and 2004. Sin is suffering from bulging discs in his lower back as a result of his match with Epo at Legacy. The fact that Sin is in the ring tonight is a risk for him, but as we all know out of Sin, he lives for the WNW Championship and will never pass off an opportunity to win the gold. Entry four, hailing from Atlantic City, New Jersey. It's the Jersey Double! And here comes our next Hall of Famer, the Wicked One, the Jersey Devil. He was a 2006 inductee into the WNW Hall of Fame, a one-time WNW champion, two-time United States champion, and a three-time WNW team champion. To complement all those titles, he was also the 2002 Apocalypse Championship winner. The Jersey Devil came up a little short last week for the WNW Championship. He hopes not to repeat last week. He hopes to walk away with the WNW Championship, and if he can do that, I'd say his next hope is holding the title longer than a week. Ouch. Sorry, Jersey, just had to. And for the first time in well over a year, you know how it goes, the song hits the effing sick. The first time in over a year, the 2003 inductee to the Hall of Fame, the Living Curse Sick, making his way to the ring, a two-time WNW champion and a two-time United States champion. This is Sick's first appearance in WAW since, I believe, Legacy 2006 in Cemetery Gate 7 Hall of Fame. This is the first Hall of Fame match with all Hall of Famers involved since that time. Six Hall of Famers are going to clash, and they are going to clash for the WNW Championship. We've run down all the accolades of everybody else, but let's run down the accolades of our champion, Epa. He's a three-time and current WNW Champion, a two-time United States Champion, and he is a one-time WNW Team Champion. He is the only person to be undefeated at Legacy holding a record of 5-0. and oh. He is known as Mr. W.A.W. and he is the most recent inductee for 2007 into the Hall of Fame. And this one is officially underway here on Aftermath. Gino Diomedes and Effo locking it up. These two no strangers to battling over the WNW Championship. They've done so on numerous occasions. Also garnishing Match of the Year awards in 2004 for their Cemetery Gates 5 WNW title match where Effo lost the gold. And then they won Match of the Year for their rematch just one week later on Aftermath. Epo goes to the outside as Gino Diomedes pulls the ropes down, but here comes Sin. He comes to the ring, wasting no time going after his arch nemesis, Gino Diomedes. And Diomedes now hammering Sin back into the corner. Looks like we could see the trademark five punches followed by a clothesline. Gino tries to jump out, but he gets caught by Sin. Sin dies in the corner by the war machine. Sin now walking on a dragon sleeper. He's got Gino locked. Gino trying to force up. He's trying to flip back. But he ends up on the shoulders of Sin. Sin's got him. Running sidewalk slick. We're going to cover. We're going to count. And we only get two. Sin going for an early pinfall here. He's got those bulging discs. He'd like nothing more for this match than to go quickly and for he to walk out of here. WNW champion. He gets pushed off the ropes. Ducks the clothesline from Gino Diomedes. Tries for the big boot. Gino goes underneath. Gino coming over. Sin's got him. And Tim Potter. Gino Diomedes hits the floor. Sin throwing him out of the ring. Jersey Devil now coming in the ring on the tagless rule. Chop to the chest. Knife edge chop again. 
to the war machine. Irish whip reversed by Sin. Devil goes in. Oh, he gets caught up on the top rope. But Sin taking advantage. He's going to go for the center. He's trying to pull Devil out. Devil trying to fight him, but he can't no more. Sin's going to hoist it up. But the Jersey Devil backflips out of the center. I've never seen anybody get out of the center like that. Sin pushes the Devil off. Coming into the corner now. Hammering away on the Jersey Devil. Punches to the rim. Punches to the top of the skull. And the Jersey Devil goes down. Sin now charging in, running knee right to the side of the head of the Jersey Devil. Sin now pulling Devil out of the corner, going for the cover, and wheeling it too as the Jersey Devil kicks out. These two men, no strangers to each other, or battling over titles or glory. These two used to be in payback. Jersey Devil still holds a grudge to this day for Sin using Devil in the uh, list that Sin had to create, and hey, I can't say I blame Devil for still holding a grudge, but Sin goes down twice there to two spinning back elbows from the Jersey Devil. Sin Irish whipped off the ropes. Sin comes back, tries for a close line, but he gets caught with a complete shot. Devil going for a cover. Wait a second, there's Jay Chill. And Jay Chill gets taken down by the Jersey Devil. Here comes Rocco. Rocco and Chill had a match earlier tonight. Rocco taking Chill out of here. I don't get what Chill's deal is. He, he's all business-like and professional with Rocco, but he can't seem to keep his nose out of the Jersey Devil's business despite numerous warnings from Sin. And he just got kicked in the side of the face by the Jersey Devil. Sin now being hammered on by Epo. Hammering away in the corner on the man that he made to say I quit in legacy. Going for number 10 and he hits it. After the 10 punches, Epo looks like he could be taking a trip to Bismarck. And oh, Sin rolls out of the way and he tags the dirty dealer who wasn't even paying attention. Sin tags out to the Dirty Dealer, and Dealer now enters this Hall of Fame challenge. Epo now on the back of Dealer after Dealer swung a clothesline, and Epo ducked. Epo trying to choke Dealer down into a submission, but Dealer into the corner. Hammering away on Epo in the corner. Epo needs to survive five eliminations to walk out of here, the WNW champion here tonight. Easily his hardest challenge since winning the title, and it was his idea. You gotta love the fighting spirit of Epo. What do we got here? Epo going for a big top drop. He's going for it. He's got Dealer up in the big top drop. Could it be big? No, it's not. Dealer out of the way. Oh, and he collides, and he hits sick as well. He hit Epo, but he also hit sick. Epo on the apron, and sick in the ring for the first time in over a year. The fans explode for the living curse. Sick just going to town on the dirty dealer. Leg choke in the corner. Oh, and he kicks on, he kicks in. DDT on sick. And monkey flip into the dirty dealer. Gino Diomedes flies. Sin now caught. Face hugger by Sick. Driving the face of Sin right into the canvas. Gino Diomedes up now. Sick now going to the outside. It has been way too long since Sick has been in the WAW ring. He's up on the top rope. What can we see here? Predator out of the corner by Sick. Punch to the stomach, sick cutter, and Sin goes down, and he goes out of the ring into the floor, almost at the exact same time, Gino Diomedes flew out of the ring, and another sick cutter there by the living cart. Sick out to the floor, going after Gino Diomedes. These two men have one bitter and classic rivalry, one that saw one of the most violent matches in WNW's history, still talked about to this day, Cemetery Gates 4 at Doomsday 2003. Both men's careers were thought to be over. Jersey Devil and Dirty Dealer now in the ring. Two men who formed Payback back in 2003. Wait a second, Joey Staples, speaking of Payback, and he just got caught with a crossbody by Effa. 
Joey Staples helping his manager out of trouble. Dealer going for the dirty drop, but he doesn't get it. He's hooked. What are we going for? New Testament. Dealer gets hit with a New Testament. He is down. Epo's on the top rope. Epo splash. We get a cover. We get a count. We get our first elimination. Dirty Dealer eliminated on a K&M combo. But don't let Rocco hear me saying that because he'll flip. Matter of fact, hey you, you over there, you go get a box of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and you deliver them to Rocco and you tell him it's my apology for saying K&M combo because I know he's going to hear this. You, you over there, you go now. Anyway, the match continues here. Sid tries for a big boot. He misses. Duck in a clothesline. Ducks another clothesline. German suplex. Sin bridging it into a pin. Referee out of position. Sin could have just had the champion eliminated. That was surely a three count. Red guy out of position on that one. Sin now trying for the butterfly suplex. He's got those two arms hooked. But Epo locking his leg. Oh, knee to the midsection. Two knees there. He's got Sin. Calling for the Cyclone. Cyclone DDT. And Sin lands right on his back. You see him clenching the area of his bulging fist. Sin is in pain after that Cyclone DDT. Three, four, Epo dropping Sin down on the back. That's a smart move by Epo exploiting the current injury of Sin. He's been traditionally known to have really bad knees. But uh, Sin has said before this match, his knees are in the best shape they've ever been in. It's his back that sucks when And he hit the Jersey Devil with a big boot with the pain in his back causing Sin's legs to collapse. The pain shooting down his legs. That's how the bulging discs work, ladies and gentlemen. They said pain shooting down your legs, making it hard to walk, making it hard to move on some days, and Sin just collapsed off the big boot. He just got kicked in the stomach again. New Testament, no. Devil into the corner. Sin with a boot to the stomach. He's going to go for the center. This will be the third week in a row that Devil's been centered by Sin, no. Boot to the stomach. Devil hooks the arms. Out of the corner and New Testament! Devil goes for the cover, but he says, no way. He's gonna make Sin suffer. He's gonna put him in the devil lock and send those bulging discs even further into bulging. And Sin taps out. Sin is eliminated from the Hall of Fame challenge. And things do not stop, ladies and gentlemen. This fast-paced Hall of Fame match continues. Gino Diomedes in, hammering away on the Jersey Devil in the corner. Oh, kick right to the side of the head by the Dark Messiah. Sin looks like he could be seriously hurt here. His back was already in rough. Oh, missed flipping neck breaker. As I was saying, Sin's back was already in bad shape. He might need some help out of here. He could be in very rough shape. Oh, neck snapper there by the Jersey Devil. And oh, two feet right to the top of the skull of Gino Diomedes. Diomedes catches a kick of the Jersey Devil, but he returns fire with a second attempt. It takes Gino Diomedes down. And Jersey Devil tags in his former tag team partner one time. The living curse sick. Those two men once made up the team heaven burning. Sick has, oh, rolling some Owen on Gino Diomedes. Now we're getting retro. Knee to the kneecap by Sick. And again, Sick continuing to drive those knees into the, the kneecap and the back of the knee of Gino Diomedes. DDT spiking Gino on the top of his head. We're going to cover, we're going to count, and we only get two. Sick up on his feet, Gino starts an up on his feet now, ducks a clothesline, backbreaker on the living curse. Gino keeping that into a submission, bending six body into a U-shape. We're gonna cover now, and we only get two. Oh, Gino Diomedes pushed up into the air. What leg strength by the living curse. Just pushing Diomedes into the air. Hit cameraman, action's in the ring. 
Sick bringing Diomedes into the corner. Could it be a scarecrow? Yes, it is. Scarecrow by the living curse as he takes the mask off. Sick has always wanted one thing. I'll make that three things. Blood, pain, and suffering. And he's going for all three here tonight. Plus the WNW Championship, a title he has not held since 2002. Sick with the piston on Gino Diomedes. And down across the legs. We get a, we get a cover. We get a count, and we only get two. Red guy once again out of position, and that did not benefit the living curse on that exchange. Wait a second, Gino headstone. He keeps him hooks headstone again. That's two, three headstones, four headstones, five headstones. Five headstones by Gino Diomedes. Sick up on his feet, he gets caught. Leg stone. Five headstones and a leg stone. We get a cover, we get three. Sick took five, count them, five headstones. Along with a leg stone to be illuminated. Jersey Devil now has Gino Diomedes going for a slick shot that uh, Gino hits the corner. Devil with a boot to the stomach. Standing vertical suplex. Devil now heading up to the top rope. Could it be the corkscrew headbutt? Yes it is, corkscrew headbutt by the Jersey Devil. And now he is waiting for Chino Diomedes to hook on the New Testament. Boot to the stomach. He's got the arms hooked. Devil into the corner. Cobra clutch bomb. We get a cover. We get a count. And we only get two. Diomedes now over to the legs. He's trying to hook on the shallow grave. Devil trying to fight it. Chino falls over. But Gino's got it locked in, and he's got it locked in tight. The shallow grave. Will Devil make it to the ropes, or will he tap out here? And he taps out. The Jersey Devil has been eliminated, and we are now down to the final two. Gino Diomedes and Effo for the WAW Championship. 2003 in Tuck D versus 2007 in Tuck D. Four-time WNW champion versus three-time WNW champion. And Gino Diomedes calling for the microphone. Gino Diomedes with a slap to the face, two slaps, telling Effo to lay down. And Effo not going to lay down. He's not going to lay down for anybody and lose his WNW Championship. Effo lays down for absolutely nobody. And he has taken it to Gino Diomedes here. The final two men here in this Hall of Fame challenge. The Dirty Dealer was first eliminated by Effo. Sin was next by the Jersey Devil. Sick followed that elimination by Gino Diomedes. And the Jersey Devil was also eliminated by Gino Diomedes. Diomedes going for the pin. He's got the ropes. And Red Guy kicks the hand screen. Good job, Red Guy. Another cover and another near fall. Effo with the boot to the stomach. He's going for that big top drop. Can he get it? And Gino Diomedes lands on his feet, going for the headstone, and he hits it. Gino hit the headstone. This one's over. New, oh no, new champion. No new champion there. As Effo kicks out of the headstone. Gino now heading up to the top rope. What's he going for here? Jumping DDT, catching Effo, spiking his head into the mat. I haven't seen that one out of Gino in years. Right, 
Kino says he hurt his knee, but he's using it as a distraction. He's pulling something out of his pants. Hurry it more! Red guy do? checking on the knee of Gino Tiamides, but he's pulling something out. Epo doesn't even know what to think. Oh, he gets hit in the stomach. And again in the top of the head. And one more time. Gino Tiamides clobbering Epo with that chain right there. This one should be all. Epo should be unconscious here. Oh, a knee right to the throat. And again, Gino Diomedes, one more time, a leg drop, springing off the bottom rope. Go for the cover, and no, we do not have a new champion, as Gino Diomedes' chain shots do not get the job done. Gino dragging Epo over to the corner. What are we going to see here out of the Dark Messiah? He's heading up to the top rope, but Epo's starting to move. He's up on his feet. He hits Gino in the side of the head. What is he going for here? No way. Zipper out of the corner. He's going for a zipper. Zipper out of the corner. And Gino goes down. Epo calling for a cyclone. Last man he gave a cyclone was Sin. And it looked like Epo re-injured the back of Sin. He's going for the cyclone. Gino fighting it. Ends up on the top rope. Epo calling for the countdown. Gino trying to fight loose and he's not going to do it. Gino gets countdown. Epo now coming off the rope. Going for the circus splash. He hits it. Go for the cover, and we only get two. Gino now retreats to the floor. He's running out around the ring now. Epo giving chase to Gino Diomedes. Epo now comes in the ring. Oh, he gets caught with a spear. We get a cover. We get a count. We only get two. Epo getting that left shoulder up. Gino Diomedes now has the WNW Championship. He is risking disqualification here. Wait a second. Freaking flex there to grab the gold. Elfo with a roll up. We're going to cover. And we only get two. Oh, we got a defibrillator by Gino Diomedes. He's done much better than that guy that used to do it. That move just got an upgrade. Gino on the top with a frog splash. He hits it. We get a cover. And we only get two. Gino hit a frog splash there. Gino now heading back up to the top rope. Epo now going after Gino. Coming into the corner. What are we going to see here? Superplex? Superplex out of the corner. Gino goes down to the superplex. Freaking flex remaining at ringside to cheer on. Epo now heading up to the top rope. Could it be time for the Epo splash? Yes, it is. Epo splash. Look at the knees in the air there. And we get three. Epo survives the five eliminations he needed to survive. And he walks out of here still WNW champion successfully defending the gold for each of the last three weeks since winning it at Hellbound. He won it on October the 27th from Sane. We had November 3rd off. November 10th, he defeated the Dirty Dealer. November 17th, he defeated the Jersey Devil. And here tonight, November 24th, WNW's Thanksgiving Spectacular, Epo successfully defends against Dirty Dealer, Gino Diomedes, Sid, the Jersey Devil, and Sick to remain the WAW Champion as we continue on our road to Doomsday. Be sure to join us next week for another edition of WAW Aftermath.